back to the Mutual Friends podcast. I'm not going to do a very long intro because we're, we've are we been talking before this podcast started. We've got so much to cover. Mm-hmm. Welcome, Faithlin and Shay from oh, For the hi. Fems. I'm Thank so excited. Guys. Thank you for this having is, us. Just, guys, buckle in. Like, just <laughs> buckle in. I'm getting so comfy in my seat. This is going to be such a good episode. Um, Faithlin has been on before, but we have not met you, Shay. No, it's my first time. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy you're here. For the people who did not listen to Faithlin's episode before, also, it is still one of my best performing oh, it's best performing on social stop. but one of my best uh the top episodes it's so good stop. Oh my God. um can you give a brief intro again about who you yeah. are and then Shay? yeah i want the long intro for you the long oh <laughs> yes. boy i don't think we have enough time <laughs> no we do we do um i'm faithlin i'm sarah's friend we met at a really fun tiktok event a couple months ago and every time she comes to new york i'm like gonna just steal you and wanting you to move here but yeah born and raised in new york and this is my best friend shay and we have a really fun podcast together we just started thanks to so sarah fucking good. because i had no idea that i would even feel comfortable talking on a podcast until you invited me on yours no you guys are like incredible when uh, i saw like i was seeing the sneak peeks yeah. and i saw the launch i was like holy <laughs> shit it is so good you're so, so sweet. good you're so, so sweet i was yeah. telling you guys the creative direction was like it's so it's amazing thank yeah thank what's coming you. out of your brain you. shay let's hear i want to hear your life story me. i was st- doing such hard stalking like <laughs> oh it was so God. good your brand is just it's thank i mean you. i was like i cannot believe i'm t- going to be talking to the person behind oh my God. this creativity thank so yes you. please it's my baby so yeah. thank you um i'm shay and i'm from new jersey originally and i have been in new york about seven years now i started a brand called arson the label and it's a jewelry brand with my ex-partner but we were together at the time so it's a very complicated situation but the brand was built off of like our exes and that's why our names are kind of fun and catchy so yeah it's, you know it makes sense now it goes with the aesthetic that that's, now we're like, exes. It was not purposeful but like it worked exactly out. it you, worked on the I'm end i'm assuming you guys work well together um yeah it took a definitely a minute mm-hmm. but we're definitely getting on the um better terms with working mm-hmm. work um situation but took a minute but no uh yeah i met faithlin i've known her over instagram for a while but when she moved back here over the summer mm-hmm. that's how we met and we just clicked we're, yeah now we're inseparable just inseparable yeah. no literally people are like are you guys dating is she your roommate uh <laughs> no, what is she i'm like, we're, are like, like no we're, we're just like, friends we're just yeah together all, all of the above basically yeah, yeah, like we're together basically. so often it's and like, she yeah. was so funny she was like you don't get attached to like anyone i was like yeah i'm only really just attached <laughs> to you i'm like well oh we God. have i said if Five years, none of us are married. married. We'll we'll get married we'll just, together. Oh, yeah, love yeah. That. we'll be domestic partners. <laughs> yes, Stunning. domestic partners. Your chemistry on your podcast is so good. Like oh, the vibes are you. so good. Um, tell me more about Arson because yeah. first yeah. of all, the pieces are stunning i'm a Thank gold girl you. i'm okay. absolutely gold jewelry girl Love um it. and mm-hmm. so and you have a pop-up as well after when this goes yes. live i think it'll be over yes it will be but, over um yeah i'm gonna pop by i think today or tomorrow i'm very excited yeah mm-hmm. no um well i'm happy like gold because i'm actually a gold girly too but my ex-partner was silver so we wanted to make a yeah. brand that had a little bit of both and then we really fell in love with the mixed metals um, i love it oh my gosh yes. so we have a lot pieces. of mixed metals in there very funky almost like textures and shapes yes. as well yeah. it's so cool and i feel like it's for both genders yeah like it's no, not so. super feminine it's also not super masculine i love the way yeah. you guys like chose your thank pieces. you no yeah. we wanted to make it for like kind of everyone i'm definitely more i think mm-hmm. dressed a little bit more feminine where other people dress a little bit more masculine but we wanted the pieces to be able to be worn at with whoever just styled differently yeah so that's why we want to kind of make it almost gender neutral in a sense mm-hmm. um but yeah the shapes we wanted something a little bit different than the regular jewelry brand out there when we started and our main thing we just wanted branding and we think to build a brand you really have to have like a story and branding to kind of push it forward and that's that's how arson was created yeah mm-hmm. no i i would love to pick your brain on your yeah. creative like direction and you mm-hmm. have had some major fucking people <gasps> where you do you. renee rap yeah. Alex Earl, <laughs> like, are are I have to are you are you connected? Did it get to them organically? Like, how did that happen? Um, I was scrolling. No. I was like, oh my god, right. these names are huge. I, know. Um, I was very fortunate. I honestly, I DM most of them, and unless I know someone that knows someone, yeah, usually that's how. Honestly, social media has helped grow a brand so much, mm-hmm. and I will never take social media for granted. Yeah, I know it has some harmful effects sometimes, but for 
building yeah. our brand, it helped it so much. And I, uh, I think we all can uh, yeah. relate to that. I mean, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't have my studio without no. TikTok, honestly, yeah. and like yeah. videos. People and like to hate on social media, but I'm like, the positive so got me where I am. Yeah, it's got me where it's got me where I am, and yeah. like, I really think it's kind of like what you do with it. Like, the power is in your hands, and like, absolutely, if you, you want you. It can really. You're the best at it out of anyone I know. You're the best. Oh my at god, it. you manage it so well. Really. Like, I yes you the way you handle it I'm like I look up to you the way you landed social media and like you do it in such an organic way but it's also like very much a job thank you so much you're so welcome let's just keep going no like (laughs) that that was really nice give me a little bit more right that's so (laughs) nice like what else um no you know I think everything is just so thoughtful but it doesn't come across that way I love that you think it's thoughtful I'm sure there's a subconscious part of me and I know there is that like is planning it or whatever but that's like this is the year that I think I'm going to try and be more purposeful I'm studying like creative direction especially honestly it's it's my move to Instagram and like taking Instagram more seriously for mm-hmm. me and like trying to build that up since TikTok's at a place that I really, really enjoy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Instagram takes a lot more of an aesthetic study that I really haven't played with before. Mm-hmm. I'm very used to like turning on the camera. I look a mess and I'm like, this, this is the shit. So you should have it. Yeah. <laughs> like, and that is like how I go. But, but I people s- love that. People they, want the realness. They yeah. Love, love I think that. I want, I want to find the mix of, um, because I, it's funny, I'm like, I know that I have a vibe because my friends and even like my followers would be like, oh, this is so Sarah. And I'm like, that is Sarah. Now, why do you know that? Like, how do you know that? And how am I communicating how that? And yeah. how can yeah. I do that You're just better? like a funky, cool girl. And you're normal and like relatable. And like, yes. that is what people love. This is so <laughs> fun. I love like, this podcast. I feel like so we fun. need to do a collab with like, what's the brand? Stony Clover. I don't Clover. know that brand. I feel like you, that's just like reminds me of you. It's just like fun and you can put like any name on. It's like these. Let me pull it up. <laughs> yeah, I need to see what you're talking about. I don't know why. This just like you're just like a fun bubble. What was the name of it? Stony, Stony Clover. Clover. Yeah. We have one here. It's, we do? We yeah. Do. Oh, my God. I've yeah. seen. Yes, I did not know that. Like, that's... I don't know. Like, I feel like. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh wait, it's so, not. It's kind of coming out. But like they have, like everything like, is just like custom bags. and yeah. fun, and like I don't know. You just seem so fun and like. I'm working Stony on Stony Clover. If you're listening, yeah, <laughs> this please. Is, you should clap. Please. <laughs> um, I'm working on my first merch, and um, Ooh, that's poor exciting. people oh, yeah, I'm working with because I literally texted my manager. And I was it's like, "It's gonna be the blue." Uh, so I want that color. That's fascinating. This is what the people want. This is what the people want. <laughs> so give. I just no. I so I had this first vision. And I literally texted my manager two days ago. I was like, and and she's like, help me facilitate. I'm like doing it through mm-hmm, my agency because mm-hmm. they have a really good merch department. Um, yeah. And I knew I needed that support. Um, and I was like, Allie, what do you think Chris would do if I said that we were going to scrap everything that we've done and <gasps> um, start over? But I know what I want to do. She was like, so I emailed him. He is freaking out like a little bit. And I was <laughs> like, right. But like one will make us money and one won't. So she's like, all, I'm going to have to bring it on Earth. Yeah, I'm going to <laughs> just like come back. Um, <laughs> and but yeah, it's like I was going a certain way and I will tell you the certain way I was going to after yeah. this. Um, yeah. And then I was like, that's not where we are. And that's not what people want. It's and not what the people um, want. I'm like, Chris is worried about sales. I'm sure I'm like, Chris, this is going to sell better. I'm worried about like are people going to like it? Mm-hmm. And I think that people are going to like this new vision more. But mm. um, yeah, I I don't know. I've just, I, I'm i working on being more strategic with my brand. Yeah. Not I don't want it to come forth as like a strategy or an authentic. Well, I think that's there's a happy I medium. I feel like you do that. Thank but you. But it, it doesn't come across that way mm-hmm. Thank at you. all. Yeah. Thank you. Well, but well, because I know you and yeah. we talk, I'm like, wow, you're really fucking well, smart. I, I get a lot of, like, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. I get a lot of, um, like, comments at that sort of reassure me in that way. And, like, people who, of course, like, only know me through social. And so I'm like, okay, I'm doing something. I think that I could maybe just be doing it better. But we're always, like, you know, your worst critic. Yeah. Um, yeah. But with Arson, I wanted to say this. The Like, I totally agree with how it is very gender neutral. I'm trying to get my husband to be a ring guy. <gasps> well, I'm trying to do a couple things. Of course, I think my husband's the most perfect angel human on earth. I literally. <laughs> he is the so most you perfect married. Yeah. I, I, he is my favorite human on the planet. Oh, my God. Your guys' podcast recently, I was dying. Oh, my gosh. He's so, so cute. He's so good when, on the podcast. When you were talking about the third person, he's like, 
oh i don't like that no he's like <laughs> so he's funny he's very like flat like if he does the like he's like no like i yeah. yeah no he's so funny he's no he's very good on the podcast and i'm like he has i just this, want you guys actually it's, no he, 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 oh, he was supposed to come on this trip and then oh. you could have met him but he wasn't able to come so we'll do another one um but he has this like if you see him you wouldn't get the you get the first vibe which he is true like he likes legos and he's very smart <laughs> and he looks like he likes legos and is very smart which i love, I love he's got this inner emo kid we both do um, but he's very grungy. He's very like dark, screamy kind of metal music. Oh he God, loves I was, no, he no. loves like a dark romanticy book. <laughs> like oh, he, I love it. It's it's very. He's a got a very like this, but nobody really sees it for his, from his front aesthetic. No, so, yeah, he's and he a wants, bubble, just like he, you know, he, exactly sweet little bubble. He wants like, uh, but we're talking about tattoos. I'm like, you need to. I want him to do the whole sleeve. He wants <gasps> Ooh, to get like edge him up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he like, wants here. to get like memento mori. He wants to get like a skull. That's like in an astronaut suit. Like he's show me. I'm like, honey. First of all, obviously, I think you're stunning, gorgeous, extremely hot. If you do this, I will pass away. <laughs> I will be flat on the ground. And then we we started and talking about have rings. Babies. Yeah, and then yes. And like he's got the wedding ring. He's got the aura ring. And it's like now that he has two rings on, he's oh. like, what, honey, what if I got like a pinky ring or something? I was like, oh yeah. Oh! <laughs> I would die and I was looking at Arson's jewelry I was, I was like say, this could it. be no. like him, him like getting into Our, it our like Rolex rings ugh they look so hot yeah. I love them on guys yeah, I and really he's, do he yeah, works the, in like a, an office ones. this is like the one that he works in an office like with a lot of older men on a military base so sometimes they like wear a certain shirt or like he the grunge kid will like poke out and people <laughs> are like what is that and he's like nothing <laughs> <laughs> he just like keeps walking <laughs> No, I want him. I'm like, we're gonna. I want to build. I want to get his internal like vibe more out there. Out. Yeah. I really think it needs to start. I think as soon as he gets one tattoo, it's just off for the races. It's, yeah, he's gonna. Um, he's done. He's yeah. done for. You've it. seen. My yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. That's usually what happens. This might be our year because I want him too. This year. might be our year. Oh my god. What are you thinking of getting? I will tell you right now. So I Do want. Tell. Uh, yes, I have ready. my plan. Okay. I want till death in like mid- medieval <gasps> script on my finger on the like oh, super fine that. line. I love that. I want also, to, your ring is gorgeous. I literally see it sparkling I over know. here. Thank you so like, much. Okay. This, was, this was the engagement ring. I and then love. for our one year, I didn't actually have a wedding ring before that. I got the, if you, I take it off, like they can come apart, but I got the oh. um, guards on either side and I love I it. Love so sick. It's thing. so yeah, cool. Yeah, I mean, blinded. No, literally. I, was, <laughs> I keep like looking over to see like this sparkle coming. I'm like, I love it. I wanted to be subtle, you know? I wanted to, <laughs> um, I feel like I can really like clock somebody oh, yeah. with it. Safety um, too. Yeah, no. no, exactly. Um, I have no idea what I was talking about now. I'm like oh very excited. Oh my God, wait. Your tattoos that you want. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. okay. Till death on my ring finger. Mm-hmm. Um, from, there's a book that we both love book series uh that and we want to quote from it um and it's to whatever end on our arms like mm. on so if we're holding hands like a show like right here Aww. um i want this necklace that i've i've worn this since i was 12 it was my great grandma's it's the gemini twins Aww. and uh, i want this exact design somewhere mm. i don't know and then i want to do i don't know where or how i want to do this yet i want to do something with stars uh particularly like three stars because it's a theme from a book and then i also have like this thing about like second star to the right, like Peter Pan, I've always loved the like storyline and not necessarily the lessons of Peter Pan, but like Lost Boys, never growing mm-hmm. up, like the magic of Peter Pan. There's mm-hmm. a lot of like starry type of like, uh, I guess themes. I want to figure out how to do that, but in a way that's a little bit more unique than I feel like there's a lot of people with, like three stars here and I love that, mm-hmm. but I want something a little bit different yeah, because I different. have to be unique. Yeah, of course. I have a question. Yeah. Are you a Disney parent? Yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. No. no, we are Disney Vacation Club members. Well, my parents. Shut the f- oh, fuck. <laughs> like, I, my parents are Disney Vacation Club members. <gasps> I was. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Oh, I can go. Di- I will, I will swim, dive I'm deep. I'm hoping that it was. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, I and, knew. I was like, if it's any anybody, one of my friends, it's it would Sarah. be me. We, I've been an annual past Disney member for many years stuff, yes yeah. i've been an annual past member for many years we're not when we got married i didn't renew mine and then we're considering if we're going to renew it um i converted joseph into being like a disney like we love yes it's no a religion he, it, no it <laughs> no, is no, no, no for cult. sure it is he, a cult. he says it. he's like i've been converted into a disney adult. i want to go as an adult i think it'd be it's, so fun it's as an adult so you, fun we, i'm so surprised that she's not into me too it. I, was honestly, like, it was I think he just did thing. it wrong 
Yeah. Honestly, I did. It was a little traumatizing. Yeah. <laughs> no, we should know. Disney is so... I mean, there's two things. One, just, like, as... Like, they've just done it super well. Like, the magic... I'm going to be so fucking annoying right now. The magic, magic of Disney is for real. And, and the I, Disney I, magic. The Disney magic is for real. And I only say I'll that do because... do it for my kids. No. Don't do it for... I Nino. Mean, you know, need to do, do it, it now. You're, like, for too real as an adult. With your kids having fun. Like, you need to have no, a moment No, kid Disney is not do. fun. Adult Disney is fun. Drink and... Yeah. Drink? Drinking no, makes I anything like fun. I yeah, have literally. brought so many people. I don't like roller coasters. You don't have to like roller coasters. When I say, like, yeah. I mean, I brought so many people and they leave and they're like, it's corny I would go to Disney fuck. with you. Yeah. They, and they, always, leave, they yeah, always leave really and they're like, I didn't understand what people meant by magic. I thought that was really dumb. Now I get it. And I'm like... <gasps> I want to go to the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. As an adult. I, I do believe that that they don't so allow that. I know, but we can. Well, that's the only thing I'd want to do is get my hair done. <laughs> well, I don't think I don't. I'm pretty sure that they like actually don't do it if you're like above twelve. Ugh, rude. Well, yeah, we'll, we'll figure that out. Whatever you guys. They should probably we'll dress you down. <laughs> we'll try to make you look twelve. I'll just go fuck myself. But like, <laughs> no, but you. if you wait, why? What were you gonna? Were, were you, is that a question or did you have a point? I don't know. I just, I just like it came to be. Yeah. And I no, was you're like, like, you're like, oh, I the get spirit, the vibe. The spirit. The, the magic the was emanating Disney. from, from yeah. me. Yeah. And I was just, and I was just like, I felt this like, like prophecy. Yeah. <laughs> you said, I, this has been planned. I need to, need to it see if like, this is true. Yeah. It is. And I, I had a feeling mm-hmm. it was. And the thing is, like, I don't want to say I'm a Disney adult because I'm not, like, I don't dress up or anything like mm-hmm. that. Mm-hmm. Like, but I do love to go. Do you get some ears at least? Or oh, I have ears. Yeah, oh. I don't really wear them. Oh God, I don't. I think just one. Oh, like, good. and I used to. I was coll- really holding my breath. No, no, during, I collected pins when work. I was like she little, but I haven't. I haven't done like pin collecting since I was like it's, ten. Okay, okay, okay. What if you got proposed to at Disney? <gasps> that I mean, I, I love I Disney know. so much that absolutely has been a conversation. But no. I told him no. I told him no. Okay, good. No, no, no. I was like, on our podcast. I was like, absolutely. It's one of my like biggest cringe. I want. I'm like, no. It's way too cringy. I'm like, first of all, I want this to be about me. There's so many people around. No, and so. Not, we'll do it and like yeah. you'll probably be getting proposed to someone right behind you is probably getting proposed to at the same time yeah I mean, it's very weird <laughs> and i'm like do. what do you so it's gonna be like oh my god and then you get back up off the hot ass asphalt and what do you do go get a mickey waffle like i don't understand what the, mickey uh, waffle. the after of that yeah i don't understand what the after of that was supposed to be i was really concerned with the after of a proposal yeah when i was like thinking and like not like planning it but telling yeah. just yeah, about what yeah. i wanted i was like because I really, I wanted our friends to be there, like, hiding or something. Mm. Because I was concerned mm. with, like, will you marry me? Yes, OMG. Hug. Silence. <laughs> like, I'm Nothing. like, what happens after that? Nobody yeah. knows what happens after the camera's, like, stop clicking. You just look around. You're like, that was fucking great. Okay, cool. <laughs> and I, so I really wanted, like, no, you're just like our oh, friends so the to moment, come out. You're like, oh my that God. didn't happen. But what he did do, what he ended up doing, he was like, I'm so sorry. Like, and I've told you, we've got. I met my husband in third grade, and now all of our friends were so annoying. Um, all of our friends, we all met in elementary school, and then we ended up all marrying each other. It's gross. I don't know what was in the water. Literally, literally not yeah. real. It, no, and the uh, thing is, yeah. we we did all leave. Like we were, it was in a small town, but we all left and found each other later. It was bizarre, like and now we're all in each other's like, weddings. What? Yeah. What are you guys? Drinking I don't know. Over there? I don't know. And now, and now we're all. I wish we, my life was that. I know. We call each other squad because we wanted something very original. We do a Christmas trip every year, and like. So he said, Ooh, sorry, like, that, nobody though. in squad could come, like, this weekend. They were all busy, but I had to do it. And in my head, I was like, there's no fucking... There's literally, like, ten of us. There's no fucking way. And so he was like, but I do... I have a dinner booked, and it, oh. it's going to be great. I'm going to surprise you, so I'm going to blindfold you. I don't know... I don't want you to know where we're going to dinner. Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay. And I was... In my head, I was like, there's no... I thought maybe, like, a couple people couldn't come, but I was yeah. like, there's no way there's nobody. Blinded me, blindfolded me, and then go... Uh, we drove kind of a far ways, and when he unfolded the blindfold, I was in the restaurant, and everybody was was there Aww. and then i cried um okay. but yeah the i was like the silence after a proposal i was like i don't want it to be awkward. that was the fear you're so yeah. funny like, only you yeah and but he wanted it to be private so he like Aww. did the proposal yeah. like just us and then we had our friends i and think it's so cute party. when a guy like really takes a lot of like thought Effort, into their proposal. Yeah. it's very it's sweet cute. yeah, yeah. It's so cute. yeah I love it, it is really cute yeah well, now i'm gonna cry but <laughs> yes i am i am technically a disney adult that's okay. Yeah. I'll let it slide. For yeah. you. 
Thank you. That's You're your welcome. one downfall. Yeah. No, everybody has to have a That's fall. That's the one red flag. The <laughs> one red flag. Everybody has to have, have one. What yeah. would you, wait, what would you say each of your red flags would be? Like, I don't have any. No, for sure. <laughs> Yours is no, your self-awareness. Um, no, I know. I bite my nails a lot. So I'm gonna, it's really gross. I don't know what my red flag. I feel like I have a lot. <laughs> Do you, think, do you think you guys could label yeah, each other's? Yeah. Oh, I've, yes. already, I've already mentioned hers. It's when she argues, she keeps going. Even if the conversation, like, the argument's over, she'll keep going just to prove her point. <laughs> Thank Not you. with me, but, like, she has done with other people, and I'm just like, Ugh, that's my up. biggest pet peeve. You Shut have up. a lot of red flags, too, Shay. Oh, <laughs> what is it? Um, let me think. Um... Well, just the fact that you're even asking. <laughs> it's like you're so I know, I honestly can't aware. think of one. Oh, the pizza crust thing you won't eat pizza but you'll only eat the crust what and like every <laughs> every time we'll drink she'll be like can we go home and order pizza and i'm like yeah of course and i me forgetting every time that like she's just gonna eat I the crust like the of crust. a whole pie and i'm hold like, on so like if you were given like a mini pie would you just eat the outside and oh not the inside? like i'll tear it off yeah and i'll just eat and, and it, it looks like and shit. i love like, nothing is better like, like if you're a friend that doesn't like the crust like you're my favorite person because they'll always be like oh shay do you want the crust yeah. i'm like yeah I don't know why. I don't really like red. And you don't sauce. like red wine. That's, that's I'm getting wine. better with red wine. It's not my favorite. I hate red. trying all to wine. Help you. So I hate all wine and all beer. So oh, I can't even. What do you, you drink? Do you drink liquor? Margaritas. Oh. <laughs> well, <that's> my kind <laughs> of, I actually scratch that. That's my kind of girl. Get me a spicy mark. Liquor, I'm nothing, done, dude. No. Faith, my preferred faith. is tequila. But although yeah. rum's really creeping up on me, because like a rum and diet is like. Oh, because I love a Diet Coke. <laughs> it's so weird when something like random, like I will say like I'm usually good tequila, vodka, but then sometimes like yeah. gin gets thrown in there. I'm like, I kind of like gin sometimes. I don't, like, like I don't gin. know. Rum is like, it has to be a certain kind of cocktail for me. Tequila Rum's takes the clothes off. Yeah. No, tequila, nothing tops tequila for sure. Like a solid, like I I mean, tequila. literally just tequila and lime, maybe a, like a little agave syrup. I'm like, that's oh my God. Yes. So good. I like, oh! ooh, it's so good. I love a spicy marg. No, me too. Yeah. I, I could have like, a lot yeah but it's very inconvenient because like wine people are like very posh and cool and people are like oh my god yeah let's go to dinner and like let's get a bottle of wine with it and i'm like that sounds amazing do you have, <laughs> do they have like tequila, yeah, tequila. <laughs> like yeah. and we were tacos like, I was, and marks yeah, i was at a dinner and they were like oh yeah let's order like a couple bottles for the table and then i was like oh i don't drink wine like i'm fine yeah. and he was like okay like we'll, we'll order a bottle of something else that's like a bottle what the fuck are you talking about oh we're bottle at soho tequila. house yeah i was like what and he was like well what do you want? Their and margarita's I was like, is really good there. Well, okay. Oh, the that, see, that would have made sense yeah, to say, uh, what it's, it's cocktail really so would you good. like? But they said, yeah. what liquor would you like? I was like, I yeah. like <laughs> tequila. So he was like, and a bottle of tequila. And I was like, where oh what am i supposed to do with it but thankfully like, there was another person there that she was like so you will split the bottle no, we no we we literally both of us were drinking the bottle of tequila and she was like just give us a shit ton of limes and so we had glasses of ice a shit ton of limes and tequila so this whole dinner it was like i'm just squirting like drunk three. Off your ass? yeah i was like, how drunk were it you? was it was a rough time. It was, <laughs> and everybody's like, everybody's like, everybody's like trying. This was a professional dinner too. Everybody's like got their wine, and then <laughs> me and this other girl was just like, "Hell yeah, bro!" <laughs> like, <laughs> like it was, yeah, you know, and and then beer, of course. And girl, Charleston has so many breweries, and I like so yeah. if I go breweries around, are I'm just kind of so big over here. I, I'm not a brewery girl. It's no. they're huge down south because we've got so much more land. And, like, oh, you get, yeah. people are really big so into, like, big. making the old warehouses, yeah. breweries. It's a very hipster okay. millennial thing yeah. to do to yeah. get, like, the rundown really... warehouses. And then they make a brewery. Oh, I so see Like, that, one's yeah. called Snafu. Yeah, We've got that's Holy so City not brewery. my vibe. We've got, uh, what's another? Um, Edmunds Oast. Like, okay. lots of breweries. Oh, wow. Yeah. And it's very common. Like, we have a trolley that will take you to, like, different all the different breweries so on saturdays you can get on the trolley and just go brewery hopping and i'm like they're like let's go and i'm like fucking fun yeah, yeah. i don't like the burping the thing that comes with no it. okay beer tastes like a liquid burp i, I just never hate it. it i hate the way i feel it Same. and like i don't it's like that i just honestly don't even like the taste of it like no. honestly the culture is just not my vibe yeah no but then did you see me at a brewery no i could not you just no. be looking around and be like this this feels unsanitary like you're like the tarzan little um the elephant is like is like, this sanitary <laughs> like that would that would be you like, there so where's the spicy marks and wine yeah <laughs> well that's the only thing about brewers i feel like there's never another option like they're rarely We'll have like they'll have like a wine or something. They're like, but like not like, like they have, have anything else. They're like a cider. I'm like, yeah, I'm cool. Like, like, what am I supposed <laughs> yeah, to do with like, that? Like, no. no, no. Or maybe they'll have like a hard seltzer, 
Which is like, I, those don't do anything for me either. No, I could like, have 70, might as well have a kombucha. Get, no, same yeah, thing. yeah. I had, I was on a busy kick for a while, but then they blow. I go, I blow like a balloon on that shit. And so I was like, oh, yeah, no, I same. can't, I can't do it anymore. And uh, high noons are really big in Charleston. Oh, I've seen yeah, them. high noons are, big. are very big. You've seen them? They're all over here. <laughs> I know. I said I've seen yeah. them. <laughs> yeah, it's like high noons. White Claw, I think, is out. Like if we're doing like ins and outs, White Claw is yeah, out. Yeah, high, high noons, noons are, are definitely in. in. Oh um, yeah, high noons also do tequila now. I think they do. Version of it's. That. I didn't like it. I've tried I don't it. either. It's yeah. not very good. I will say I made this iconic mixture like two summers ago, and I will still stand by it today. It's rosé, and put in a watermelon high noon in it. It is so fucking good. It's Where like do I this. Feel like I would actually enjoy. It's that? like a. It's like almost like a spritz, but like yeah. It's the watermelon with the rosé really, but it can only be the watermelon flavor. So okay. don't try another flavor. I've tried Whoa. only watermelon. It's so good. We have we have a you lot of fro like froze in Charleston as well. And there's a was one, oh I can see froze being made yeah. Over there. There's this one um, restaurant that now they've like gone. They're in Las Vegas now. They went to Charlotte. They're called Co-op and they're known for their froze. They've got a ton of different flavors. Their froze I will like get fucked up. Mm. And it's uh, Sullivan's Island's like, my favorite beach better. in Charleston. Oh. And the, one of their locations is there. So you go, you get bottles of Frosé. And no, I do not drink on the beach because that's illegal. And you get <laughs> fucked up on Frosé. Wait, can well, we do that? Yeah. Oh, one, and they've got, it's when like is sandwiches. Beach weather? Uh, I would when get, I, like, I would come no earlier than, like, April 1st, probably. Oh. Like, What's the weather? Yeah, is it cold great. there now? Um, like- it, well, it depends. So it'll go, like, we'll have, like, a high and it's, like, 58 and then we'll like a couple of weekends ago it was like 85 uh, so right now it's like what's happening is the I warm weather die. is like trying mm, to come in and it'll yeah. we'll have more days of warm weather um it's, it's going to be warm starting like mid-march <laughs> but then sarah the, the meteorologist yeah yeah, yeah and, like, so, <laughs> and the, today like, the, yeah. <laughs> the forecast is um like it's going to be my standard of warm about Love. mid-march okay. M- march beginning it'll probably be more your standard warm it probably is your standard warm now yeah probably. um and then but like i like this go, is warm for me yeah right now. oh you come like, great like, it's, it's summer it's summer <laughs> in charleston right now i would say beach weather though i probably wouldn't go okay. before april okay, okay. Yeah, um I that's like what i want to do really with yeah. you go to yeah beach. and april is such a beautiful time because the jasmine blooms and the azaleas ooh, bloom ooh, and so the whole city is gorge. very flowery and beautiful I love um it. spring's really beautiful in charleston like mm. i love it and we've got a lot of like festivals around but there beach it's still beach we can go yeah. to the beach oh yeah okay. there's sharks could go are there sharks in the ocean yep are they gonna come get us no I heard we don't, they have, will. We don't have any of those. Those don't exist. I agree. I, do you, I don't go fully in the water. Sometimes do you not? I do. Like, what do you, wait, what do you do? <laughs> a little like, twinkle toe. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, pull off. A little big toe say, boop. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pull off. I'll go, like, knee high. Okay. It, the ocean kind of really does scare me. It doesn't. It really in the Atlantic is also disgusting. Like it's yeah. Not, maybe that's it, pretty. It's also I just like look it's, at like, it. If I'm you like, look at the water, look. if you it's walk brown. in, you're not gonna be able to see your feet. No, like yeah, it's yeah. very it's oh, murky that. water. Like I and mean, that's what sharks like. They like murky water. We don't. You know? We don't have sharks like it's not common to see a shark it's a little bit I more common that's for jellyfish season i heard <laughs> I, that there's like great white sharks that like swim 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 across swim swim well, swim well obviously yeah. no not it's still obviously. the ocean great white sharks that can kill you like eat my whole I think body most do yeah. most can at least maybe they not will most probably guys i think if we're going in the ocean me out just don't just fully go in yeah but i want to but well, i don't we'll do want to get like a second and i also like I will say, like, folly is a lot more um, common for, like, jellyfish and sharks than Sullivan's. Sullivan's is not. It's, like, in a... So you just lied to me. Yeah. <laughs> what? Is no. Oh. <laughs> what? Are you going to like, bring per- up how many sharks on, okay. have been seen? This oh, shark spend this. summer and fall primarily in coastal waters off of New England and Atlantic Canada, feeding off high-calorie prey such as seals before heading back south to the warmer winter waters off the southeast you that would from south carolina to the gulf of mexico <laughs> wait not south so, carolina being mm, right, right yeah, up so, there well, so, so what i've read here is the high calorie prey would be me <laughs> first of all no just, it's literally that just says south carolina is like the main yeah. thing oh, spend oh. summer and fall primarily so Did you just try to guess what's like the me? shark attack like what's how many shark attacks have there been in oh charleston God. within in charleston. like the last year or two yeah 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 yeah. We yeah, don't yeah, yeah 
We don't need to know We don't need to know, we know like, the history. Everything. I'm scared. Mm-hmm. Ranked fourth among states with the most shark attacks with that's a total like, of 115 incidents recorded recorded since 1837. Oh, that's not that bad. 1837. Within the state, Charleston County accounted for 39 of those attacks. That's not kind a of lot. a lot. Out of 115, that's Just like, don't go in the ocean, like, or just like push your knees in. percent of it. Also, it says, like, sharks, but, like, there's, like, also nurse sharks that aren't going to do anything. Yeah, There's yeah, sharks, yeah. like, this big. Like, when you say sharks, like, great like whites are, are like not pet. common near us. I'm saying any shark. Anything with the word shark. And which is why I'm going to gaslight you and say that sharks don't exist. Okay. Yeah. And just okay. come. It'll be great. See those? No, I'm still going to come. Fun. That's not fun. nurse sharks are yeah nurse sharks are gonna do anything yeah that's they're what just they like, say and then if you look on like TikTok the petting, and then the yeah nurse sharks are literally exactly the ones in the aquarium where they're like yeah. very cuddly but like they're not gonna like they're not in the I've never cuddly? encountered a animal when I'm swimming in the ocean that's great of Sullivan's Island okay you should come. I am going to cut. Okay, regardless. regardless. And get her drunk. She'll do anything. Right. <laughs> we'll like, have the cooler. Give her a few <laughs> spicy marks no. and she's a new woman. We'll no, have the cooler and it'll be great. Later. And we're going to we're gonna go to. I'm like, s- actually, I'm going to get my scuba stuff. <laughs> my scuba stuff. <laughs> we'll go to Saltwater Cowboys that night. Oh, like, that sounds like, good. Like, what a nice day of, like, beach, froze, some yeah. sandwiches. Yeah. We get a little, you know, cleaned up a little bit. Go to Saltwater Cowboys. Can we go tomorrow? A bomb- yeah. Oh, oh, it's God, so, that good. so good. So good. Take a flight back with you. Yeah, <laughs> it's one hour to, like, Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're not. Wait, Lady could go today and come back tomorrow. I know. Yeah, you could. I, no, well, we let's could. Let, no, I'm why are we, let, booking let's it. Go. Yeah, let's go. honestly, guys. <laughs> Bye. Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Wait, I want to hear more about the podcast, though. I want to hear more about the launch. Mm-hmm. How you guys thought about it? How mm-hmm. how are things going? You're on episode this five. four came out. We're shooting. We're five shooting today. five. We're shooting five. Yeah. Okay, nice. Yeah. Um. Well, when Faith brought it to me, I said I'll only do it. I I just feel like me and Faith when we talk, like we're at our house or my apartment, and we just have like a glass of wine and we just like okay. talk or shit talk. Oh. <laughs> Um, <laughs> not shit talk. I, I know, like, what are we looking? Sorry, scared I don't know. Me. That scared me. I was like, oh shoot. <laughs> no. Um, I just said I wanted to be like literally just us with a glass yeah, of wine no and just girl talk, and yeah. that's kind of how I feel like it is. That's yeah, very exactly. a little bit no filter, but yeah, a we bit, yeah. that's just us. <laughs> we don't really fucking care. No, it's so no, good yeah. though. Like, and it's so entertaining. And oh, that's oh is it? Okay, oh good. my god, it's so entertaining. That's a hard like thing to keep up, like an entertaining oh, conversation. Yeah, and it's hard for us i think because i'm like is this entertaining like this is just i'm like yeah, this is just us like normally life, talking yeah, i'm like literally like, just how yeah. we just normally no, talk together yeah. so I'm like, oh, you guys are so Thank unfiltered you. and you're so it's <laughs> so good i love i'm i, I love hearing about like the dating stories oh and my god oh, i know i already yeah. told my parents they're not like they are oh, not, yeah, allowed do to not. Listen. No one's i'm like you listen. cannot listen to these stories it's just not for you no but my sisters listen and they say they learn a lot from me from this i said about me i'm like oh great <laughs> great love that so, for me yeah you guys have both had very interesting love lives <laughs> yes. yes yes yeah we honestly have. yeah like sometimes i'm like wow my love life was nuts and then i hear hers and i'm like oh Ooh, i don't think my exactly. mine's just a little bit different because i'm bi so i have guys and yeah, girls mixed in that's true. but i think faith like her Crazy. love craziness starts from such a young age because i yeah. always forget she's still so young in a sense like yeah. She's an old soul. Like yeah. if I ever no, I met too. anyone, I like that. you're quite young. I forget you're younger than me. Yeah, I'm 22. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. 20, 20, right? 23, April 4th. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. I need to plan something. I know. Yeah, coming yeah. you should. I need to plan like a whole thing. Yeah. It makes sense for you to be an April baby. You look like an April baby. Really? I feel like, yeah. What are they? I don't really know many Aries. If if really, I know like one Aries. Yeah, I don't know a lot, yeah, but I feel I, like. Your aesthetic. Really? April 14th? I didn't know that. Oh my god. Oh, that's so uh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> they are my least favorite sign. And I'm what's your sign? Um, I'm a cuss. So I'm Aquarius Capricorn. So it depends okay. on what yeah. what Capricorn. chart you look at. Oh, wow. Yeah. I work really well with those signs. Like, I Do really you, like wait, those. Wait. You don't, you don't know my birthday by any chance? No. Gemini. Oh, oh I'm sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. <laughs> I wasn't. I didn't. I, Gemini was on my know, list. Like, you have a very broke. like powerful personality, so I knew it was not going to be like something like shy. You yeah. had to like, be an air sign. Yeah, yeah. My, for sure. My, my moon is Leo. So yeah, for sure. That I'm too. like same attention. 
Yep, please. <laughs> put my husband's a Leo too. Let, let me make anything about yes. me. Um. <laughs> and my husband's a Leo as well. But he's a pretty, he's a pretty I'd like understated Leo. Um, like if you meet him, he's so charismatic and you're like, oh, it totally makes sense. Oh. But he's not like fighting for attention unless, yeah. not fighting for attention, but if you see him in a group, of people you will see the energy come out because he's really good at gathering people around him for oh, a story yeah. it's not like me i i'm, I'm asking for it. i'm like please pay attention yeah. to me i want all of it i will dance on a circle if you clap like please <laughs> him he's like oh no i'm not gonna ask for it i will just open my mouth and people will come he just has that and energy like, oh. oh my god yeah, yeah. So i hot. feel like that's the leo moon is like that just like attractive mm-hmm. energy that people mm-hmm. want to be around and like that kind of yeah thing i really like i got into zodiacs probably like a year ago I'm really? like, oh this is actually so interesting and I have it's a, really interesting i, I love it I, and it i have a birthday book i'll have to like send you guys both of your birthday yeah. things oh, um yeah. and it, it it's by the day so on oh, that day wow. it gives you a description of who you are very, very in depth on my birthday Ooh, I love that. okay <laughs> yes i will Beautiful. birthday gift birthday gift Here you go. picture um <laughs> selfie of me um, and it still has to be about me. It's your birthday. You're gonna make it happy. <laughs> Great. Leo Moon. Happy, happy <laughs> birthday. <Coming out. laughs> uh, and it's you. It's I've had a couple people where it was like complete opposite. Like absolutely not. But I'd say ninety five percent of the time it is it's like accurate. deep darkest accurate. Like if you read mine, it's mine's freaky. actually like I, I'll send you mine. It's it's kind of dark. It very much plays on. It's all about basically Jekyll and Hyde is mine and like okay. you know they have a very sunny disposition or whatever but they have like a dark side and I'm like that's probably my anxiety and like oh my <laughs> yeah it's really really good but it's really interesting and you also it'll name like famous people um it'll uh do your like top like three most prominent qualities and your bottom three like sort of downfall qualities it's it's fascinating things that what you are your to watch out qualities for. i don't remember because i pay attention to what's so the, great you about only me. the good ones yeah, yeah i only remember the good ones and i know that, that like nice. judy garland is uh, had my birthday oh that's um, cool and so she was like that was a good example of like a very light you know sunshine disposition and of course but then like had, you know like a very a dark, dark yeah. side angelina um, jolie is a gemini i don't know she's really? i don't know if she's a birthday but she's a gemini yeah God, she's so pretty. I just she's only so red unreal. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, okay, speaking of pretty, yeah, this is where I'm going to ring you out, both of you, because I need to know how you both are so pretty. And oh it's my it's oh un- my God. godly Shut gorgeous. I'm going to go so surface level right now. So, and I'm, yeah, I'm making you spill the beans. First of all, Faith Lynn, okay. first, I mean, the first time I met you, I need to know how your jawline is like that. Do I need to wash or what I, do I need to do? No, I don't know. Is that genetics? I fucking hate think that shit. maybe. God. I, I it's lost a little so... bit of weight, like when I was going through a breakup. Well, <laughs> maybe that. Maybe that. <laughs> yeah. Go through a breakup, and yeah. your, I mean, your skin. Obviously, you're an esthetician, so like, yeah, yeah. Glowing. Do you have? Ooh. What are your top? I need to know your top beauty tricks. You're just. Um, I love P50 from Biologie Crochet. Okay. That's so like. What is that? Can you? It's an translate? exfoliating toner. Okay. Um, it's a product from France. It's super, super good. I'm like obsessed with it. And it also has, like, a cult following, but it has done wonders for my skin, as well as, like, just that brand in general I use every single day. Do you have any beauty treatments or things that you're, like, very religious about? Just my own skincare routine, I would say now. I haven't gotten Botox in, like, 10 months, maybe even a year. Do you recommend it? I really like it. I just haven't gotten it because I... I don't know. Me and my friend are considering it. it. Yeah. I've never done any like beauty treatment like that. I've never yeah. done any like injectables or anything like yeah. that. It's always been very topical. Um, and the filler thing scares me after that whole uh-huh. I've been seeing on TikTok with the lymph. Mm-hmm. Like that scares me. Yeah. But, but I mean, Botox, I, I feel like. It's from a plant. <laughs> yeah, it's from a plant. It's, it's also very big in Charleston. Like Botox yeah. is pretty yeah pretty big yeah really? yes yeah like the southern mainly like mount pleasant women and now uh i think it's like really going through like my age it's like, like uh, we got like skin yeah. s- skin not skin suit was it skin i don't know we got some like new um like place on king street okay. and like they're going through and they've got like a lot of advertising i've just noticed it a lot like everybody knew like the mount pleasant moms got it which is like the rich suburbs suburbs i want to live there suburbs of yeah of <laughs> charleston and then now it's like going through with the 20 somethings and the 20 something girlies and like all of the charleston mm-hmm. like influencer people they all get botox Aww. and i'm like well fuck should i be i want train? to be like we talked about this i mean this is georgia but like london and olivia yeah i'm obsessed yeah 
they are so cute i'm obsessed they're They're so cute cute. i love like Mm -hmm. their aesthetic i think it's like different from what we've really seen i like that they're from the south Mm -hmm. like as a girl from the south i'm like we really haven't seen this this before um and this life and i like i think a lot of times see this is like a positive about social is like a lot of times you don't know what you could have or what you could be until like you see it and then you're like, oh, yeah. this would be this could be a possibility for my life, and I think yeah. that they are emulating a life that I'll, we just haven't seen before, and I love that. I agree. That. I agree. It's very just normal, yeah. yeah, for them, and I think we need that. Yeah, and we haven't seen like a Southern Belle, like no, no. Gay I couple. I was gonna say no. I don't no. ever feel like I've ever seen a couple like that. No, no. I love I love it so yeah. much. It makes me so happy, yeah. and I can't wait to get to that. They point both probably life. have Botox. Their foreheads are like fucking gorgeous perfect perfect yeah. wait shay what's your secrets yeah drop all of them um i do do botox <laughs> you do do yeah. botox Spice. yeah i did preventative um i love it yeah. um it's my favorite i do do my gua sha i have the new face do you like the new, new face, face and should great. i get it i do but you have to be very consistent with it and i go through like lulls where like i yeah. don't and i'm like oh probably shouldn't do it yeah. more but you have to be consistent with it but i do love it and then my number one tip is always 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 take your makeup off night oh you yeah not yeah sleep with and i know so many girls that actually do i didn't don't. realize that was so common i genuinely Sorry. for over like it's been over a decade of me like washing my face at night there have been mornings where i'll do it later but i have not missed a day of skincare at least in 10 years if not more i did not realize that so so many people did not and like Mm -hmm. there's so many people who sleep in their makeup and i criminal a criminal no i I I know that sounds dramatic for someone who does i'm like no i i truly i it doesn't matter how drunk i have been of course i've Oh, I'm, I'm there. Wash my face. I'm there. Oh, wait. There was one time, actually, I was drunk, and I was so tired. Uh-huh. I wasn't even that drunk. I was just so tired yeah. that I was like, oh, I'm going to take a nap for a sec. And you woke up in the next morning. And do it. <laughs> I'll at least make a wipe. If I'm too drunk, or oh, yeah. I'll at least have to do a makeup wipe. Yeah. Like, yeah. I might not be able to do the full wash. Yeah. But I'll always have to do a makeup wipe. I've oh, good. my God. I just hate the feeling of waking no, up. No, I could oh, disgusting. That I would it's literally, disgusting. I would gag. I couldn't even imagine. Guys don't understand. No. The, no. Closest, the closest I've ever been to not and i still did it is i i like laid my head down and i was like baby i cannot move like i can't move like i'm going to sleep and he was like you have to wash your face and i was like i know he's like i got it and so i'm yeah. laying Facial. in bed and he was like what do i do i was like wet your hands and get a wet washcloth and so he's like washing my face all in in the bed and like just you scrubbing my face this. wait I know, that's i know iconic this was, like, especially yeah. for a man to do this i know I he took this. a wet washcloth and he's like wiping it off and i i was like get the toner and he's like <laughs> okay and then the moisturizer and like i obviously saw it the next day my face was washed i was like it's you know i'm gonna do this again it could have been better but like he did the full thing wow. serums that's moisturizer so, wow he's like, just tell he me what so to do loved. his hands are like this tell me what to do and i got uh, it and i'm like yeah because i ain't moving dude. <laughs> no yeah my ex knew if i was too drunk at least a makeup wipe i yeah. needed something oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, makeup yeah. wipe yeah no fucking way yeah yeah um well okay with the podcast what is the most surprising thing that's come from the podcast either maybe your relationship like together or um from like have people like the listenership what's been like oh i didn't expect this to be like a byproduct of starting this new project i honestly still think i find out so much about faith that i didn't know like when i would ask when we ask questions or go back and forth like i feel like you Um, bring up things that like i had no idea that like either you went through or happened so i think that's a fun thing for me it's just kind of learning a little bit more about faith yeah yeah, I I feel like I know everything about you. Yep. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, fucking like, stalk your life. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, whatever, it's fine. Um, No, I think I really enjoy learning about you. I like this time to kind of just sit and talk mm-hmm. and, like, have it be designated. And it's been fun to kind of come up with different ideas and share our perspective mm-hmm. on the queer space being really femme. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I also love that she has the bi perspective because I, you know, don't have that. And for a long time, I really felt like, are bi people real? Like, I don't know. And yeah. then I met her. I was like, no, yeah, they're real. <laughs> they're real. <laughs> they're definitely real. They're, de- they're definitely real. Um, and so I thought it would be, you know, really cool to have that perspective as well. Yeah. Um, and, you know, she's been in long-term relationships mm-hmm. with girls. She's also been with men. So it's just... Something that I can't give. I like how we can be a team yeah. together yeah. Um, with it. 
Yeah. I love that. Yeah. I love that. We talked a lot about your dating life the last time that you were on. Yeah, I'd love bet. to hear yeah. more about yours, like especially My. dating in New York. Oh yeah, that. Um, yeah. It's a vibe. wild scene out there. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, everyone is like in a relationship though. I feel now. No, really? I thank you. I was thinking that too. Twenty twenty three was what? break up. Who like I feel knows? like everyone broke up, and then I now feel I like everyone's going single. crazy. And now I feel like everyone's like kind of getting with people. I said, yeah, oh, I don't know. And sure, it's not just like it's Valentine's Day and people like. Like, grab the nearest. <laughs> <laughs> I need flowers. I need someone to get me flowers. I need someone. I was yeah. like, there, people are probably just pulling people off the street just for like a Did dinner you see out. That TikTok where it was like, you've been promoted. No. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my God. It was like when you have to go through your roster. Oh my God. Yeah. And it was like, you've been promoted. So <laughs> it's so true, though. It was so, yeah. I love so hearing true. about people's dating lives. Like, and I think you have great stories. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, well, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> usually you're just yelling at me. No, usually, because I'm like, you're what psychotic. Um, yeah, so I just got out of a five year relationship in the fall. So, you know what? Wow. Going back. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's been a whirlwind. Um, going back into the dating scene is definitely crazy, especially because when I got out of it, I was 24, and now I'm 29. Well, I hate saying it. I'm 30. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, you're 30. I know. I still don't say it. The and I. Time. Cause I don't know. I'm just like not ready to say. It, you know? I feel like I'll it's still kind tell of people. Iconic. Sometimes if I'm drunk, I'll be like, I'm 27. <laughs> like, just really like, fly. Just for like the fun of it. Like, I don't have know. You seen the, the, the movie up. with um. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence and she was like oh, oh yeah, like, really yeah, yeah. they're like mm-hmm. oh like how no he's they're like a couple like a little Come bit and yeah like, and so he's like <laughs> so, so you're no. like she literally is also so funny like in she's real so life like she is funny. naturally just oh such I a good person I think she's really pretty mm-hmm. I think she's so gorge she doesn't yeah she's like so funny her shit at the awards where she was like yeah. like that is, that was so funny like there's like, really her, she has like, like no her. media training but like it's worse in her it's, favor it's, thank like god yeah like i hope that like she could never get canceled like this no. this is like the she's good, so this funny is good she's game. so real yeah so you how, what is entering the dating world been like how are you or maybe you're like i haven't really gone yet like, oh, i'm not ready no i i definitely took a little bit off because i think after a breakup it's really important to work on yourself and make sure when you're ready to do it. I think sometimes if you push it too quickly, it just kind of backfires. Mm -hmm. So I definitely made sure I was ready. Um, And then I went on the apps Mm. and I didn't know what I was going to expect, but it's like, (laughs) <laughs> it's so it's bad it's like fuck it's so that. so 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 bad and i'm like it's so funny because i don't know i feel like that's how everyone meets nowadays so i'm like oh yeah. everyone has to be on the apps i have not found anyone that i'm like oh my god but i have met amazing people just like not the right people for me like i still think i've met really great people for like friends or just a fun time but like yeah. or like even if we want like a one night stand like we have that option but like for me to actually date someone there was no one i'm really really loving at the yeah. moment and i was like i always tell faith i'm like i have double the chances since some guys and girls yeah, and i'm like I'm still what like, the fuck <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is out here are you so will funny. you go for like a first date will you go to a dinner or are you like no fuck that i'm just doing oh, coffee drinks, drinks. I'll drinks. do drinks. Oh I'll do drinks. I'm not. I. I would do. I, I learned I just don't that say, from people yeah. here. No. That I've heard that a lot more. Oh, what do people? Dinner's do in too Charleston? much pressure. The, the dinner is like pretty common. Oh, like no. I think it's. You know, I think when people have been dating for like they're doing a lot of dates, they're probably more likely to like yeah, I'll do like a coffee or a drinks or something. But it's still very like I don't think you know I'd you ever get do taken a out to dinner. I know I don't see oh, someone like in a the big day thing. like that feels in like the day time in broad daylight. Um, that feels I've so never awkward. met you. I know. No, I yeah. think coffee is like pretty. Oh yeah, no, I couldn't do that. Common. Yeah. Yeah, going to coffee, but like going to a dinner, like I think is a lot more common than here because oh, yeah, no. people yeah. are a lot more like, like go to drinks first. Date. Like, yeah, yeah you, no. You don't do dinner second. until the second. Oh my god, I wouldn't. Third. I wouldn't even do it till like third. Like I like drinks. <laughs> you have option to leave. You have to. Yeah. First of all, I'm like a little shy when you actually first meet me, so I get nervous. So I'm like sucking down my fucking drink. So yeah. a coffee's not gonna work out for me. Yeah. <laughs> Give any wait. Do you have any weird like I cannot believe this fucking happened um, on like any of these dates? Um, I'm putting you on the spot for a story. I apologize. I know. I'm trying to think what I haven't talked about. I mean, I've had weird ones where just like people are just. I don't know. I'm trying to think of my weirder shit. I don't know. It's a, is it always when people ask you, like, blank the fuck out? Oh, yeah. I don't remember my <laughs> Yeah, my life, brain so is so No, but then I'm, meanwhile, I'm, like, texting everyone. I'm like, oh, my God, get me the fuck out. There's here. times where, like, people will Try tell me, they're like, do you remember when this happened? I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I, the, just the other week, I was, I used to work in pharmaceuticals, and I mm. was almost 
poisoned. I guess like I could have been poisoned, but I didn't die. Um, but by fentanyl and like somebody was like, "Do you remember when that happened?" I was like, "Oh my god!" Wait, how did that? Wait, I need the backstory. What? Yeah, that's like not a normal I, thing. And, I, and like I was like, I can't believe you I could have died. No, 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 no. It was truly, it was what really, it was fuck, truly scary. Dude? And I just told this on TikTok, and I was like, I've been on TikTok for years, and I, I can't, can't believe I've never said this. So I worked in pharmaceuticals. I was in a research and development lab. That was my very first job out of college. Now, oh my god, you were research and development, I, like chemist out of college? Yeah, who the fuck is going to hire a 22 year old? Should not have been there. Should not have been there. Like I was smart, but no. It takes time. Yeah, like yeah, my training yeah. was like not a lot. And I'm also like I'm my favorite type of stupid. I really love it. I do. <laughs> and and so I had training on like the equipment and so I'm like doing my what I whatever experience and I'm making uh, like oxytocin and stuff. That was my like big project. And <laughs> We had a controlled this substance. Sarah cabin. making like, I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, Wait, yeah, this in the lab. So and I was crazy. so fucking depressed. I just tried to chat everybody up, and nobody would talk to me. Um, I did have a friend though. She will come come into the story. I had a friend that sat next to me, and she was my whole lifeline because she was very very nice, and I was so fucking sad. But we had a controlled substances cabinet, and um, essentially, like a large part of the job was like they would basically hand you essentially a recipe, yeah. and you'd make it and then you test it in different conditions so i was making whatever i was making and so i got the shake it do you test it no no <laughs> no it'd be like we put it in like essentially an oven and then we test for its degradation from heat oh or we right put it in duh. like uv light and its degradation from like you think you're a bartender things. i'm like do you test your drinks like, <laughs> how's it taste no no, no. <laughs> and it's not even it's what makes me feel yeah. like good <laughs> it's not even like in pill form like it literally it'll be like a powdered powdered substance and then we'll like dilute it in like even even water and then it'll be in like a test tube and kind of thing um that. but i was like making something and i like I did not know what fentanyl was um, because, again, my favorite kind of stupid. And I... Like, this doesn't sound that bad. No. I, it, I knew it was controlled substances. So, like, whatever. We were taught how to handle it in a way, like, we had to... When we took it out, you had to weigh it, like, weigh the bottle when it came out, use it, record how much you're using, like, in weight, and then re- do it again, weigh it again when you put it back. So, like, essentially, if it was, like, 10 grams and you took two that better way back eight yeah. because they don't want people stealing. Like we had ketamine, like right, fentanyl, like whatever. They right. don't want people taking it. So like I knew from that perspective, but I didn't know like what it did. So I'm working with it, whatever. Several weeks later, I have my coworker who is walking across the lab and she is in full garb, double gloved, two masks, like the glasses, yeah. everything. And I was like, I'm not gonna use a real name. I'll call her Kelly. I was like, what is Kelly like working with? And Kelly girl. Kelly, <laughs> Kelly. My friend Christy next to me was like, oh, she's working with fentanyl. She just continues. And I look at, look at her. What do people make with this? And uh, I can't remember what I was making, but it's okay. like a, it's like, it's like a common ingredient. Yeah, like, it's in stuff. It's in stuff. Oh, okay. Um, And I, I looked, I looked at Christy and I looked at Kelly. I was like, Christy. She was like, yeah. And, and I was still like sort of a new hire. I was the youngest in the lab. Mm. Um, she, I was like, is that, are you supposed to? You're supposed to do that every time that you work with fentanyl. She was like, "Yeah, that is extremely deadly." And of course, we're working with raw form. It's not. It's not like yeah. the powder raw form, like pure, pure. And I was <laughs> like, "Huh?" And she was like, "Did you work with fentanyl?" And I was like, "Yeah." She was like, "When?" I said two weeks ago. She said, "What did you wear?" I said, "Goggles." Like she was like, "Did you mask up?" I said, "No." double glove no and like it can it can it absorbs through your skin yes. like it absolutely can so when you're washing glassware it happened yes. to one of one of the people in the lab like nobody had oh rinsed it or labeled it God. so like he was washing glassware and it had fentanyl in it and so it he got a little like woozy he was fine yeah um but like not good and so i was like i was sitting here just working <laughs> breathing and with <laughs> raw like fentanyl. airpods in yeah raw fentanyl <laughs> and that's insane. that's insane i got i got very very lucky oh my god um, but i was so like you i didn't never feel anything though i didn't feel anything Thank no god. but then coincidentally i got a random drug test uh shortly after from the company i was like sick <laughs> and i was terrified i was like oh my god what have i hoped this in and it's been my bloodstream it was fine uh, yeah but we'd all get randomly drug tested yeah, yeah i feel like you'd obviously. have to. pharmaceuticals oh sucks does it really yeah oh it's horrible life-sucking um it's, it's kind of like a cool 
job though yeah i'm sure there I, like it was life sucking for me Sounds like really hard. i don't I, could you like see me studying chemistry no. in, a, in a lab no I everybody i did not me. see you like that mm -hmm. everybody oh, around yeah. me knew like i had people in college asking like why are you here <laughs> i'll be in class they're like why are you, you need here to do stand -up. i was like <laughs> yeah <laughs> i was like i i'm i'm good at it i like i think they're like you don't belong here. Yeah. I should have absolutely listened. Jo and Joseph watched the whole thing. He was with me through college. He's like, I told you for fucking years that you should. You do not want to do no, this. No, you do not want to do this. So now I just have a degree in chemistry. I'm like, Love thanks. It. Flex. Yeah, I guess. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, you know, people will like remind me of that shit. I'm like, oh my God. That's like, so crazy. That is really That's a nice. wild story. You should be like, if you're ever like two yeah. truths and a lie, that should be one of yours. That should be one of I've mine. I've touched fentanyl. Yeah. And, and, lived, lived, and lived to tell the pure. tale. <laughs> yeah. Lived to tell the tale. But with like dating stories, I've never, like I had a boyfriend in high school, went to college, and then I, we broke up and I started dating Joseph right after. Both of them I knew beforehand. So I've never been Do on Do they like, know each other since you guys are... They, it gets a little messy. So oh, yeah. We love a messy little met, story. Yeah. Like to, to, I'll say his name, Ryan um hey to, ryan yeah to ryan <laughs> joseph was like my best friend and he knew about joseph mm. and like me and joseph started hanging out again he knew like it was a guy from my childhood he knew we hung out all the time um and joseph and i were like it was innocent in like what we were doing and neither of us no he he knew i didn't like i didn't really accept Registry. that i had feelings yeah. for him um and then when i did it was like around spring break and they just uh joseph like came to visit me and ryan was coming home from college for spring break and so in passing like they shook hands and this was at this point i realized like i was going to be breaking up with ryan and i was going to be getting with joseph so i was like oh so sorry like <sighs> gotta go yeah Aww. that's like a whole they, that mean, was a you're little married so a little yeah. no it yeah. worked out it yeah. worked out yeah um yeah that's that's a whole other story but i've never mm. been on like a first date don't worry, you're not missing. No, you're I heard, not. I heard I wasn't. Yeah. No, it's yeah, pretty bad out there. Yeah, yeah. I can't imagine in a city new, like New York. Yeah. Well, I thought it would be so much better. Like, there's so many people. Yeah. I'm like, but and there were so many breakups this year. I'm like, oh. Yeah, that's but true. No, not yet. Not we're yet. We're just not so yet. special. God is saving us. <laughs> yeah. No, that's true. Like, I would love to know who's saving for me. Same. He's like, you stop, can bring them out now. Stop flipping through the catalog. Like, we already ordered <laughs> yeah, one. They're just like, oh, we, uh, oh bring them out or her. Like, literally so crazy. Oh, my God. No, it's just, it's just definitely wild. The dating scene is crazy. People are... Some people just are, you just don't click with, and like I feel like sometimes I push it. I'm like, you know what? Maybe like if I go I out, know. I'll try it, and then I'm like out on this. I'm like, why am I wasting my time? time. I know, I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. yeah, you just can't. Yeah, my thing is like after the date, do you like? Obviously, you don't want to like, see them again. Like, do you answer them? No. Or, I don't are know. you a ghoster? I am, and I feel so bad because I just feel like I don't have the heart to be like I. I just vibing. don't. I feel care. like I would have it like like, no, like in my notes app like a standard reply, and I would just copy and paste it. <laughs> I just don't feel like, like I owe so I owe that to someone unless I was like seeing them. But like, if I went on one date with someone and I didn't go well, like I, don't I think feel that's like fair. I, yeah. right? one, like, I think after one date ghosting, like there's no harm in that. Okay, good. Even there's, three, like I don't know. Three, okay, I would three, definitely. You're a little bit of a bitch. Yeah, yeah. Three, I would definitely. Text I am the them. biggest. <laughs> She's like, I'm, I'm the, the biggest, biggest bitch, and I own it. And you, you, I love like you. When we talked last, you were like, "I want to get married." I like, do. You've That's got the sweetest. All I want. That's I know. All I want. Like, I know. I, I want to like, get the married. Dream, I want to have you. a kid. I want to do the. I want to do the thing. I want to do the whole thing. Yeah. But gotta find the right person. <laughs> the right person. <laughs> gotta find the right person. I don't want to do it with the wrong person. Yeah. But I think things would naturally flow with the right person yeah so that's fair. i'm not i'm not worried about doing that with the wrong person i think it's just gonna take a lot of time to find that person yeah. mm -hmm. and i'm still sorry oh, I don't know yeah. i'm still really finding myself like this year i've really dedicated to myself because last year i feel like i dedicated it to my relationship and trying to navigate if there's different ways we can make it work but this year's about me and just like traveling, visiting yeah. friends. Oh my God, yeah. Like, yeah. Just, did both of you go on this trip? Oh, yeah, we went to Mexico. Yes, yes. oh my God. Yes. Like, yeah. looked amazing. Like, just so things fun. like that, yeah. you know, and like building my business. Yeah. And, you know, like 
I think when the right person comes along, it's going to be just like, oh, I met this person and it felt really easy. And yeah. Like, you know, I think it's it just going to naturally easy. flow. Yeah. People yeah. like, I don't, I don't yeah. like when people say marriage is hard. I'm like, mm. life is hard. Marriage yeah. makes it easier. I don't yeah. understand. I think it can take work to keep certain things like alive yeah. and like to keep you both stimulated. Yeah. But at least in this day and age or maybe New York in general, because there's just so much going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I think, yeah, whatever. I think when the right person comes, it's going to be the right person. We're going to get married and we're going to have kids and it's going to be great. I, love it. <laughs> I just realized like we never actually went into like the group chat segment, which is usually oh, yes. in the beginning, let's, but we oh, just chatted so do. much. So we'll let's do, we'll do, do that'll be the closer. This will be great. Beautiful. We've got some really good ones. So first one, celebrity crush right now. Um, I'm gonna say honestly, Madison Beer is really. Oh my god, my her life. new her. I think because her new song, I've been seeing her everywhere, and she's what so it's fucking so gorgeous. It released, get, I think yesterday. No, I let it. I just have really? been seeing on TikTok, and so I've been seeing her a lot. I'm like, she's, oh, she's and she's so fucking. She hot. was on a podcast. She's I don't so know what gorgeous. podcast. She is so quirky and like so very cute. down to earth. She's I got Marvel that. tattoos on her foot. <laughs> like literally like she's very geeky Aww. and um I, when i listened to her on a podcast i was like oh my god protect her at all costs like her protect outer her. her outer perception is i think very different from who yeah. she really really no, is and i love that no I, she's she yeah. i think she's on my top right now for a guy it's morgan wallen with mm-hmm. the mullet mm-hmm. for sure mm-hmm. super super into it <laughs> I don't know. So my celebrity crushes aren't anybody current. Okay. Be. So it's like Angelina Jolie in her prime. Oh yeah. Like oh Nicole, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, Nicole Kidman in her twenties. Oh Sandra God. Sandra Bullock in her twenties. Yeah. It's like not that they're not gorgeous now. I'm just not right. attracted. Right. No, no, like no, that, that makes sense. Weirdly, because um, you like older women, so it'd be. I do love mm-hmm. older women. <laughs> oh, I would love <laughs> to be yeah. with Jenna Lyons. <laughs> oh, my God. Who? Jenna Lyons, she's a housewife. Oh, my dumb. Let yeah, me, I don't. Wait. I I didn't know when she Jenna, was. Jenna Lyons. Jenna Lyons. Yes. Okay, let me see. Oh, oh, she's oh, oh, gay. oh, Gorgeous. Yeah. Like, I feel like that's oh, iconic. Oh, I like her glasses. I love her vibe. Love the vibes. So cute. These are the okay. vibes. Okay, wait, this is mine, and people okay. always laugh because it's the literal, jo- uh, like, opposite of Joseph. Okay, so I, I have two options. Okay. Really okay, one. we'll see. Because I know exactly, like, I have one picture that I always show. I'm just, okay, that's wasn't fair. he in what's Le- the Dev Slumdog Patel Millionaire? Is my like, I love the movies in crime. Um, wasn't he in, crime. was he Slumdog Millionaire? Uh, no, there's a d- other one, Away from Home or something. He was in like the ones I know is from The Great Exotic Marigold Hotel. So that's when he was really really young. And the, oh, like hello, well he Scream. looks so handsome there. Scr- yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that's my celebrity crush. Easy. I love that. One hundred percent. He's very different from your husband. I like no, my, that's it, why I love showing there. people. Wait, yeah, what does like, your husband look the, like? The lion, Wait, lion. I need to hold on. That was like my favorite one of my favorite movies. I cried. Here, hand this, hand this to Shay. Look at, look at my husband. He's holding a frog. <laughs> the difference is the difference is, is so wild. Is wild. Just wild. like what? What is the, who's wild. my celebrity crush? I need to ask. Like recently, um. Yeah. Like, it used to be, like, Demi Lovato and actually, like, Jennifer Lawrence. And he didn't, like, wasn't into blondes, like, before me oh. or, like, something. Oh. But I think you that... changed his mind. Yeah. yeah. I think that changed. Um, I think that changed. I need to ask, like, who a recent one was. Okay. Um, honestly, I know his male celebrity crushes a lot more than I know his oh. female ones. Like, he... And we're both attracted to, like, an aesthetic. Like, we're really big into the Loveless, the uh-huh. lead singer of Loveless. Oh, and like the that. lead singer of uh um sleep token who actually okay. we've never seen his face they're they just wear masks and so and his name is vessel it's just very hot it's like very cool. interesting it's like very punk rock bands okay. we're we're both really into like emo men oh okay mm-hmm. both of you yes except for that one bike? didn't give that to me. he's not oh, neither it's of, just it's just more of like yeah a, oh, it's like a yeah like, and i've i've i'm asked i've like sent him i'm like you're he's very very comfortable with his masculinity and his feminine I love side that. which i, I love adore that. And yeah. i was like have you ever considered like have you ever thought about it he's like there is no world where i'm sexually attracted to a yeah. man oh, but yeah. they're like he's like i can absolutely say like that man is 
hot. I, I think that's, that's, I feel that's about amazing. Men. Yeah, it's exactly. Yeah. I'm like, that's how I feel about women. Yeah, like, exactly. And I've really like thought about it. And my friend, um, she she's by and she's she sends me TikToks all the time because for a while it was a joke that I got a lot of beautiful like mask women on my <laughs> TikTok and it. Oh my god, I was like, you're like, oh my god, I really think like. Am I like something? I TikTok want- tried to tell me something, and then like I really soul searched, and I was like, no, I don't think so. But I, I can appreciate like I feel like that if you vibe. can't see yourself wanting to touch a girl, right? Yeah. That that That's was my key. question. I was like, yeah, yeah. I, I can't like, do that. I love this aesthetic, and I yeah. think like gorgeous. Yeah. But then I was like, okay, do I have sexual desire here? Mm-hmm. No. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. I think it. Everyone should take a second to check in with themselves just to see yeah oh yeah because like you I think do nowadays, really never yeah. know yeah. you know no 100 yeah. percent. which let's next one fuck mary kill celebrity oh style okay. yeah um fuck mary kill i'm trying to think who my kill is i feel like the other ones are so easy um, it could be anyone yeah it could be anyone God. Well, I'm gonna marry Angelina. Duh. Love. Ugh, there's so many Marys. We're yeah. just gonna like yeah. adopt kids so together. Many kids. It'll mm-hmm. be so fun. Um, I feel like kills kind of hard because it's not like we're doing it yeah. for the so We could just do fucking Mary. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's we easy. could just like you, if you kill anybody, just like kill like. I oh, fuck Morgan Wallen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think that's good for you. Like marry Angelina until they fuck Morgan Wallen. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> I would marry. I would definitely probably marry Angelina Jolie. And then maybe I'll do like maybe should we all get married? We would have like a three way, and then I'll have like one of the Hemsworth brothers in there, and I'd be married to them. Like I think that'd be a really good uh, love triangle. <laughs> yeah. And then like fuck. Very strategic. Obviously, I think Madison is so yeah. gorgeous and like just so hot. But weirdly, yeah. Billie Eilish does something. Oh to my me. god! Yeah. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. She does something yeah, to me like true. the yeah. way she can be like her vibe, kind of, like, ma- more masculine, but then also super feminine. Like, yeah. I think she's and I so- love the way she's been talking about lately about her like exploring her femininity. Yeah. And I think that's yeah. what I'm saying. And she's just like she's so talented. Fun. I think yeah. she's so down to earth and like just so cute. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like her energy. There's something about her energy. That's yeah. Super she's attractive. a good energy. Yeah. Super yeah. hot. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Yeah. Who's somebody who's underrated? underrated that you're like they need more hype around them you ah thanks but i don't think you're underrated Precious. you're kind of cool <gasps> well thanks buddy um oh angela she's also my celebrity crush I don't know who the fuck that. that is <laughs> i'll show you she's this um beautiful french singer Ooh. and she's really Do-do-do. cool she just did a song with dua lipa uh, oh i do love dua lipa too like I actually, she's oh my god, she's my, beautiful. She's probably one of my celebrity she's crushes so right now. I've never even heard of her though. Her music is so How good. How do you spell her name? Like, are you kidding? Wait, yeah, she's just like. This is actually. Stuff. I take it back. Angela is my celebrity crush and my fuck Mary kill. <laughs> all of You're it. You're doing all no, in one. Do or not, all. not kill, not but kill. fuck Mary, whatever. Angela. Well, you know who was, but I think her last couple songs really blew her up. Was Tate McGray? Did you guys know who she was? Oh my god! Was? No, oh, yeah. I yeah, yeah. Knew her she, before, that's a good one. And I was obsessed. First of all, she's so gorgeous, so talented. Like can I dance, whatever. I think her voice is so sick. Yeah. And she's I think very we- Britney. I saw it's her on giving Raya. me old Britney. Like it's literally giving old Britney. Like uh, baby, hit me over one more time. Yeah. Like vibes. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, but the no, dancing, before I think her last right, like yeah. few songs, like no one knew about her. Like me, I went to her concert. I think like last year or how like six months ago mm-hmm. and i would tell people and they're like who is that i'm like wait you don't know who she is yeah i feel like 2023 was like her hey, yeah. upcoming and then upcoming, 2024 yeah. is gonna be her year yeah she's now it was like it's a big thing like she like sang like the nhl something and like she's her, dating like kid Leroy now or something she's dating kid Leroy. yeah Why? i was like i saw her on Raya. Huh? What? what yeah i oh. told you that oh my god i didn't no know that way. yeah you know what's weird though Raya gives me straight girls sometimes and I think that's yeah. yeah. So they're she like, they, I, we think this one needs to explore. <laughs> <laughs> we like, if I get you and you're straight, <laughs> so Ryan's hinting that you should probably yeah, you should, yeah. no, like, yeah. we're the, the algorithm is saying, let's go here. Let's that's try. what TikTok yeah, is trying to do. Al- to me. And I also have gone people that have said no to. I hate, I hate the apps. Just fuck the apps. <laughs> How do you even get on Raya? Isn't that like an application thing? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I was on it literally. Like I've been on it for years. Like. That's Since cool. I was 17, I was on Raya. Oh, my God. Like, before it was cool. Right. 
it's yeah. i think it just baffles me that that's like a real thing yeah i it's know weird. it is weird i'm like sure. why do you get to decide who's on i don't get it. yeah well now like anyone can be on no it, so it's, it's really not, not hard to get it's on not it, as cool as it was yeah i think yeah mm-hmm. i don't know i wonder if they have i'm sure i'm sure like charleston has that but our like celebrity scene is so small yeah it's, i'm sure like most people have been on a date with like you know one of the southern charm people like yeah it's not yeah, even so true. a question mm-hmm. yeah Oh my gosh, this was so good. Oh, this is so, so good. Fun. I, mean, I just so like good. yawned. I, was uh, like, I love this just chatting. So Thank you guys so, so much for Thank coming. You. Thank you for having oh, us. Where can people find, but like plug it all, plug everything. For the Femmes <laughs> podcast. Uh, Apple and Spotify. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And your individuals and your brands. Oh, Ars in the Label, Instagram. You can check us out. Our website. We're also in Kith. Um, yeah. yeah. And then Shay Erickson is my personal. Love. Yeah. My esthetician page is at my esthetician. <laughs> That's such, so good. <laughs> I, thank you. And then my personal is Faith and Gianna. And where's your studio? Oh, yeah. My studio. Your you can. Studio. It's a private oh, yeah. <laughs> studio. <laughs> Like, I'm like, oh, so gonna drop the address? Like, what? where can you find me at any time of day? <laughs> yeah, if you want to visit? I'm literally just setting Faith up for some stalkers. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Like, are you kidding? Oh, well. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for listening. I hope that you've enjoyed this little chit chat. This was such a fun episode. I knew thank that this was you. going to be a good one as thank soon as you guys you. walked in the room. Um, all the things, you know, rate, review, like, subscribe, all the stuff. We're on YouTube. We're on all the places. And please mm-hmm. share to your social medias and tag us so that we can repost you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, week, wherever you are. And I love you very much. And see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.